All right, second time of doing the rag. Managed to get, I'm just gonna give Winston a bit of room, G. Um, managed to get a gorgeous clear blue sky day again. I can't believe my luck. So the first time I did this was before COVID. I got on the track. I'm all right where I am in the middle of the track, so just um, maybe scuttle it. Before COVID, I'm sure it was. It's on the channel. I'll put dates in the title when I actually put it up on the channel. So I'm thinking that this is not going to have changed much, to be honest. Um, we'll see how we go. We are in convoy. Santos, is your car a manual or an auto? I don't So, I just did. Thank I'm in the middle of the convoy. And it's really dry. I'm on the second gear now. I'm really dusty. Yeah, so if you um, use your manual slip and then just maybe second gear low and change up the third gear low if you need to and so forth. Lost the radio. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right, <bud. laughs> I dropped my radio. I was putting my seat forward, I was doing the right thing, and then I dropped my radio and I couldn't find it. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> no, I can't see, I'm jammed in. There's always one in the group, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Big hole. Just straddle it up the middle. What the hell? Um, so I'm a bit torn. 
you'll soon find out because one of them will be up. One of you. One of them will be up on the channel. I should take. Yeah, it's a bit of a cracker, isn't it? Take a picture. Yeah, it's very special. Take a quick one, Michael. WJ. Okay, I can see all three. Is G gonna have a quick one? between two years ago, I'm gonna say two years, it might have been a bit longer, um, and 2023, if you look at both videos. If there's not, if I feel there's not much difference, then next time I come on here, I won't film it. Um, two, let's go two. From memory, there was just kind of one wombat hole. Does anyone remember when the fires come through here? a noise in the car at the moment. In the skirt on my bull bar, bolt, nut and bolts have come out of that so it's got hardly anything in the back so that's all bobbling around. Yeah, what I was saying was, last time I remember there were loads of cars waiting up here because it was just car, so many cars that they were waiting um, to go down this descent here. So we had to wait um, and then someone in that group got all narky because they pulled over and expected us to be psychic and were effing and jeffing at us. So. It's all up there, Lucy. So I can hear the vibrations of the bull bar where it's come apart, which is a bit annoying. Hopefully not too bad. Uh, hopefully I've got loads of good tracks coming up. Got a trip out to Haunted Stream coming up in April. Going to Tasmania in the Easter holidays. Um, my brother is coming. My brother is coming over from the UK. Uh, so I said I'd take him camping. Um, so you never know who might feature in a video. We'll see how we go. What gear am I in? <clears throat> anyway. One. But you can. Go 
looks a bit oh, interesting, far away. Downhill ascent control. that you need to reach so one of them was a thousand subscribers and I got that uh, just before Christmas got a thousand subscribers I'm like yes bit of a milestone but you still can't turn the money on when you've got a thousand subscribers it doesn't work like that you have to have a certain number of hours that you have in a year so you need to have 4,000 hours of watch time in a year and I was just skirting around 3,900. It was extremely annoying. <laughs> and I've actually had ads on my videos. Certain videos. It must, be, must be ones that have more views or something. I don't know, but I've noticed ads on my videos and I haven't chosen to put them there. They're just there. So they've been on there for a while. But finally, I, um, I got to 4,000 and then you have to go through a bit of a process. go through a bit of a process to um, monetize your channel which I did and I turned the money on and so the interesting fact for you because people ask how much money do I make so at the moment with a thousand let's call it thousand subscribers I make about a dollar a day which is better than a slap in the face and I don't do it for the money anyway um, but yes there you go so I make a dollar a day. Imagine how much some of these channels make that have millions of subscribers and videos that get 44 million views and stuff. It's crazy the amount of money involved in YouTube. Anyway, it's not why I do it. I do it because I love it. Um, and it's nice to get messages from people telling me that they love it too. Like that keeps, not keeps me going because I do it feedback's always good whether it's positive if it's negative feedback at least be constructive and kind <laughs> okay let's go up here on the other videos that I've done obviously I did a night run not in this car it's a little 31 inch tires but in Steve's car and before that we went to, and did a bit of a historical tour historical so markers the you've got um, holes in them just trying to on and um, what I will say is when you see a brown sign you know you're like oh no, no. You kind of want to stop and have a look. Stop for a second. So 
some of the brown signs are awesome <clears throat> some of them are it's literally a brown sign that says there was a shanty here and there's nothing there um, so not all brown Not all brown signs are equal. That was kind of the outcome of the brown signs tour. Jericho is well worth a look. It's an awesome tunnel in Jericho. That noise is so annoying. <laughs> Might cable tie it. I wonder if that will keep it together. Can you copy that, Michael? Yeah, mate, got a copy. Thanks, bud. Here's another story for you. If you haven't remortgaged your house recently, you should remortgage. I remortgage my house nearly every two years at least, if not a year and a half. I think a year and a half ago I remortgaged my house last time. And I do it to get a lower rate, obviously. But then you get cash back. Why am I telling you about remortgaging my house? Well, because I just remortgaged my house which means that I got some cash back. So there are some mods coming to the car. I'm quite excited, actually. So I have killed my auxiliary battery in the car. So I've had to buy a new battery. But I know that the same thing is gonna happen again if I just do what I did last time. So I've bought a solar panel, which is going on the roof. track by the way it's fine lots of grip <laughs> solar panels going on the roof so that it's only 110 because I can't I can't really fit anything bigger on without losing lots of space on it um yeah okay that's a big hole ordered finally probably should have been one of the first things I did a cargo barrier for the back and then I've got a little table that's going on the inside back door so I was gonna get a drifter awning but I found one that's super peg which was literally the same <laughs> and cheaper so I'm trying that anyway and K on to the other accessories so I'm quite excited about all of those changes happening and that's all come because I got some cash back. Charlie, if you come back, then we're on a, up the hill. And um Yeah. I'm up the hill and I've just got past the run and I have let them know that I was Thank you, Charlie. So you'll know when I remortgage my house next time because there'll be more mods to the car. So what I might do once the mods have been made do another little car tour video because everyone's always interested in what other people have but I'll put it all on camp with it for a bit see how I go so I can at least give you some feedback on you know whether I love it or not anyway so that first section there was a steep section down that was a bit dusty shaly uh, but some decent whoopsies this section ton 
tons of grip. That last little climb, one little kind of wombat hole. Don't actually recall those, like that hole being there. So I think that's a new hole, there you go. But nothing hard. Kind of driving the hole or straddle the hole. That's kind of your only options, isn't it? Oh, there's a 
the top will be awesome. I'm going to take a picture backwards. children <laughs> yes and funnily enough I'm camping for the next um, every two weeks for the next eight weeks even a bit beyond um, oh hang on a minute it might be ten weeks the next ten weeks I'm camping every two weeks I didn't think my low range could get any lower speed first gear low range and I'm crawling like hail speed <laughs> Go a bit faster.
engine's dead, so that's, yeah, it's a little bit slower, but that's not running away, so that's all good. either, as soon as we stopped, the shot you want is either that little hill there or that little whoopsie just just there down from the summit. It's one of them. I think it's, um, 
I think it's literally the last whoopsie before the summit. Stop there. Perfect, guys, perfect. Look backwards, because you're so concentrated on going forwards that you forget to look backwards sometimes. That's the view. Well, you're right, I think you are. Very friendly. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So, the wombat hole that I remember was somewhere here. Maybe it's gone and been replaced by the wombat hole on the first kind of bit. We shall see. Steve didn't mention any holes there. So... I would class this as easy. Last little bit's a bit steep and um, rocky, but it looks pretty like a lot of traction on it. There he goes. Go oh, stuck over to the left, and it's pretty good. Right, where Steve is now at the front, I think that's that's the spot you want to stop on for your photographs. Momentum. Let's get up. I am not exactly. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> Momentum is your friend. I call it left foot loose enough. Because that little whoopsie up there, after the rough steep bit, you can see over that little bit there. Look, that looks pretty steep. to stop where I've just stopped, get out and look backwards. I do that, that's okay, Mike. Yeah, good Right, so the one by hold that was at the top. Yeah, whatever. Cannot see that full of no money. So there you go, there's this one earlier one. and if you can hit it like a day like today, awesome. All right. <laughs>